if you enjoy playing VR games, but shooters are just kind of weird with just the controls trying to make it look like you're moving a rifle. Join me today as we bit we print a VR rifle mount. Join me inside. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are printing a VR rifle. So essentially this one's set up for an HTC Vive, but the model that I'm going to show you has the Oculus grips as well. Um, it's modular. These each are in sections. These are movable. This can be tilted and adjusted. It's a pretty nice little rifle. Now I printed the bottom part here, these rails, I print them at 100% info because you're going to be moving, jerking on them, but also I wanted to create a weighted, weighted experience of a rifle as you're moving around. So basically the, the Vive controllers, they just slip in here, you grab hold, and you should be able to move around and keep your handles in alignment and make your rifle work. So let's hop over to the computer and give this a guy a print. As I said, this is the final product that you'll see at the end. Uh, this is the one that I printed for a colleague of mine that um, I will be giving to him. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's hop over to the computer. And remember, always hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment down below if you're interested. Let me even know what kind of AR set you've got. And maybe this will be a fit for you. Uh, model maker and the link to this model is down below, found out on Thingiverse. So let's get this model sliced. All right, so here we are at the computer, and we've got the model pulled up on Thingiverse that we're using for today's video. It is an Oculus Rift HTC Vive VR gun stock. It actually has the handles and everything in this kit as well. Uh, credit to Big Woody 3 for creating this model. Um, so basically, it has the stock pieces and the pieces to make for your controllers to fit into the stock. So there's kind of one of the finished products for the Vive. Um, there are a couple other different solutions out here, and it's kind of one of those things you got to kind of make sure what you're looking at to make sure you're getting what you're wanting to get here. Um, this model, um, I'm not going to actually pull up here in Cura. There is another handhold for some of the other ones out there. Um, this is one that I'm working on for the Valve Index um, group. Uh, but Today's video is going to be centered around seeing the print. This one I have not printed yet. I've just started printing this one, so it won't. you won't actually see a time lapse for these, but you will for the other pieces here as we go through. Um, but these also work on the same mount. So, basically, let's get started. So we've got our files, and there are quite a few files. And there are multiple parts here that we have to print multiple times. So I'm going to set that off to the side, and let's pull up Cura. So I used mainly a CR10 to print these parts. So we're going to put the butt, which, <laughs> butt, uh, we're going to put that on the plate. Um, I'm going to put the rail, that this connects the butt to the rail, that part. And then we'll do look at the rail itself here real quick first. So my advice, one, this piece is not laid flat. So just go here and click lay flat. I never understood why it moves it to the center of the plate, but you can now have that standing flat on the build plate. The butt I did on the side, this piece I did standing upright. So I am going to actually rotate that up the other way, that way, and let's get him standing up straight. And for the print that you see that I did, I'm actually going to multiply by three. So I actually did this part four times. Now you can choose what you want to do for this print. I printed that part um, four times to give it length, but I did it in a separate print. You'll see this in the um, time lapses that these I printed at 100% infill. I didn't have to, but guns have weight to them. So that was actually something I was trying to simulate when I did this, is I wanted to f you know, feel like you're actually turning a gun. So I added those to 100% infill. One, two, the controller handles are on it. So you are jerking this thing back and forth with your hands. So I wanted to give it the extra strength and solidarity too. So I made those 100% solid. Um, the other parts here I did not make. 
Um, I made this for a colleague. I don't have a VR set to actually show you on. I made this for a colleague that I work with. Um, we'll get that set out here. So what you can do, the first thing I'm going to pull on is I'm going to pull on the Vibe cups. So that is the cup for the Vibe. That will go on your rail. So, and of course, you know, there's two. So you need two. So we will set that off over to the side. Now, the, the CR-10, of course, gives me a large build area to actually have all these parts. I could do this all in one print. Should you? No. No, no, no. You'll see from the time lapses, I broke up the print. Um, they have a strap mount, so if you want to put a strap on the gun, you can print two of these and actually have a strap like you would on a normal gun. Um, and that one's pretty simple. Multiply by, not by three, by one. And it'll give you two of those onto the build plate. I could have done that for that as well. But, you know, silly, silly me. So we'll get that positioned so that we can get the other cups that come with this model on here. So this one comes with a right and left cup. I believe, if I remember correctly, these were for the Oculus Rift. And we'll get the right hand on here. So there's the two cups. You kind of see they have a kind of a shaped angle for each hand to fit appropriately. So that is all the parts for the gun. All of this section of the table that my mouse is outlining, I printed it at 50% infill or lower. The rails, as I said, I printed at 100% infill. I used a CR10 V2 and a V1 to print all this. Actually, I think I even used an Ender 3 in this project because I, while I have everything on the plate, could I do this? Yes. Should you do it? I don't recommend it because if you have a failure anywhere in here, you risk losing all of the parts instead of one or two pieces. Now, like the rails, I printed all four of those at one time. I took the risk, and I won. So, hey, hooray. But, like the cups and some of these other pieces, I broke them into other prints just to make sure I didn't um, lose the entire print. So, if I remember correctly, this was actually four prints for me to do this project. And I married spare parts for the handles and stuff like that, just in case, you know, things happen. You get into the game. This is plastic, and it, you can snap it or smack it into a wall or <laughs> something silly. So, it's kind of one of those things I made extra parts, um, especially this neck piece to the butt between the rails. I felt like that um, may have been a point of where things may break easily. So there's all the parts to this model and I don't know why he dipped down. So um, support. I think I did this at 80% which does get annoying for these because between each one of those there will be a piece of support that you'll have to pop out. Now here's the cool thing. I kept that piece of support to use it in, in my scratch bashing and kit bashing stuff. Because you know what? It kind of came out looking like it would make a pretty cool tread. So recycling, using other pieces, keep that in mind as you're doing this because you may be able to make something else out of a piece of scrap. So let's move on to the time lapses and finish this guy out and let you guys see the final project. See you on the other side.
All right, guys, and I said, here's the final assembled product. Um, as I said, if you've got the Oculus, they also make the same braille slide-ons as your Oculus. Also, if you want to put a strap on it, make it like a rifle, they also make the strap mounts just like this that you can print. That will just slide right on the rail. You just take a bolt just like the others and position them where you want and have that rail on there and have that strap if you want to. Like I said, completely modular. These pieces move, bolt in. You will need a couple M5, I believe these were M540s that you'll need to bolt everything together and get it all going, but that's the rifle. Again, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, join the crew. I need you here. I want you here. If you guys have questions or anything about 3D printing, please leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next video.